Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games there, and today we are playing Tori 3DS Edition, and today we're going to hopefully move on in hard mode. Now, last time we caught the Wall of Flesh, if you didn't see that video, I will leave it below if you want to go check it out. It was really awesome. Anyway, let's get into this today. So today, we're going to hopefully, you know, like I say, move on into hard mode. We need to go and go into our crimson biome and destroy some crimson altars, which will spawn in some... Wait... Is it Wraiths? Yeah, I think it's Wraiths. I'm pretty sure it's Wraiths anyway. If not, then, you know, don't roast me too much in the comment section. Because you know how much you guys like to roast me. Anyway, we're going to hopefully get some of those. And then uh, we can get better equipment. And we do have some Splunker Potions back at home for when we do do that. So hopefully, like, well, hopefully it'll go well. But, whoa, okay, I forgot Turtles. I forgot about those. Okay, we're out of here. Nope, 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 nope. That's just the nope, nope, nope. We need to be real careful about those guys. Anyway, uh, like I was saying... Okay, this turtle's really annoying me. We need to wait for him to, like, jump up back. We're gonna wait here. There we go. Right. Oh, God, he landed right on us. Four of those, and we are dead. Boom. Skaboosh. Dead. Flattened. Destroyed. Don't want to be destroyed. Anyway, uh, like I was saying... We, I did actually find out that um, the 3D... Oh, God, we're being attacked from everywhere. Hard mode. It really is hard. Anyway, I forgot that you can uh, go up and down like this. It may, It's what makes this edition so good. You get so many uh, free spaces where you can actually do things. So, yeah. Uh, let's go back onto this anyway so we can just get our weapon. Uh, Rishi would like to settle down. Ooh, interesting. So, Rishi does want to settle down. I believe he's probably the die trader, if anything. I'm not sure, though. It might not be. Don't... You know, don't, don't take my word on it, because I probably got it wrong. Probably isn't the die treader. Let's all be honest. Anyway, uh, how did I get into here, then, if there's no way in? Did I just go around? Oh, yeah, I had to make my own way in, didn't I? Because there was no, like, open at the top? Yeah, that sucked. Oh, wait. There always was an opening at the top. <laughs> so I went all the way around for no reason whatsoever. Well, that's made my day, guys. Finding out that you could have always gone around. So here we have a load of altars. Of course, if you're in the demon biome, uh, the crimson corruption biome, sorry, not the demon biome, you'll get uh, demon altars. But in the... In, oh, God, these worm feeders. But in the crimson biome, you do get the crimson variant, which is the crimson altar, of course. So, let's destroy one of these. Right, we need to get our pone hammer. And this won't kill us now, luckily. There we go. Pal palladium. Ah, we've got, we got Palladium. I wanted Titanium. Or is it the next one that gives you Titanium? Mithril, Palladium, and Adamantite. That's what I always get. Like, I never get anything different. These Wraiths can be really deadly, by the way. Like, so, if you're not prepared for them, then I'd just get prepared for them. I really would. They can do so much damage, and there's about 50 of them here. Not, not literally, but, yeah, there's about 50 of them here. So, luckily, they do quite good knockback, though. They do move away. Ooh, and we've got our first Soul of Night, which is going to be useful for a hard mode. Oh, God, not Floaty Gross as well. I forgot about those guys. Why? Why do you do this to me? Right, what I might do, though, is I might kill a load of these one day and uh, try and get the Golden Shower, because the Golden Shower helped me out so much on Xbox that I believe it might help me on this, too. The, the Golden Shower is really strong, by the way, even in hard mode. So, oh, God, herplings, herplings. Jeez. We got hornets. We got everything attacking us. So we did bless our world anyway. So luckily, uh, we'll be okay uh, if we don't get absolutely mauled. Jeez. Oh, my God. The i stickers as well. I forgot about those guys. Oh, God. Rob, we do need to upgrade. Come on, Floaty Gross. Go away. Oh, no. There's loads of them. This is the problem. The Crimson Biome, I think, is so much stronger with... Um... Oh, God. The amount of mobs you get. We need to take off the option so it does quick, uh, quick select. We've got some crystals around as well. So this is a crystallized biome, too. Oh, God. If that attacks us, we're dead. There we go. 100 HP healed up. Gotta be real careful. Oh, God. Come on. Don't do this to me. Come on. Why is it attacking it? Oh, God. I'm going to have to do th each one myself. Adam and Tite. Come on. There's got to be another one around, surely. I just want to get loads so we don't have to look around ages for ores. Was there another one down here? No, there wasn't. Where's the other one, then? Are they up here or what? Come on. This, there's got to be some somewhere. Right. That's it. I'm out of here. 
too much going on there, guys. I can't deal with that much stuff. So, the, uh, oh, I've just thought, though. Oh, uh, no. They're going to come back. The, they're going to fly back to us. We need gas plunk potions quick. Right, um, we're going to equip that. And then we're going to go in our chest and find our Splunker potions. So I know they're in here somewhere. And they're going to be very helpful, like I say, when we do find them. If we, if we do still have them. Because, you know me, I probably did use them all on something. Because that's what I normally... No, I've got them here. Here we go. So two Splunker potions. Oh, no. I've really just done that. <sighs> I, just, I just pressed the button to withdraw everything. My inventory is full. Okay, I don't want that stuff anyway. Right, try, time to trash everything. Okay, cool. We don't need that. We don't need that for now. We don't need the lead bars for now either. Oh, can't. Chest is full. Oh, yeah. I got the breaker blade as well, didn't I, last time? Awesome. So, the breaker blade is such a good weapon. Uh, but is it going to be better? 27. Well, <laughs> it's better, but it's only average speed. So, it might not be better in the long run because the uh, Ruthless Star Fury is very fast speed, meaning it swings a lot faster. And that does 27 melee damage per hit. So, maybe that will be stronger. In the long run. And that causes uh, stars to rain from the sky as well. So that does like, I don't know. The stars will do about anywhere, anywhere from 80 to 100 damage normally. Uh, but it can do a bit less. It can do a bit more. I saw it do so much. Minus 10 knockback as well. So yeah. It means you don't get as much knockback I guess. I, I don't know. I don't actually know what that means. I think it means you get less knockback as far as I know. But it could mean anything. We do have a black. Lens. We could make we could make some MLG glasses, but I'm not going to. Um, we did just want the Splunk potions, though, didn't we? Here we go. Lovely. And we'll take those beauties. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Are they here? No, they're not. Right. Let's uh, grab them then. We're gonna smash them up here. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Now they should be here, right? Oh, no. So what? Which which part's that then? It's there. So. I don't understand this part here. No. I guess this is all like uh, your building materials at the side then. Yeah, that, that's what I'm coming to a conclusion to anyway. That it's building materials. I don't know. Maybe it's just how you build better. It'd be nice if they did something like that on console editions. <laughs> it really would. Right, we'll get rid of that for now because we don't need that. And then we've got our Splunk Potions right there. So now we can go and mine some of the ores. Of course, I think we can only mine Cobalt for now. Or Palladium. I don't know, one or the other. We can either mine one or the other. And the Splunk Potions will help us find them. No problem. So, we're going to use those. And then we'll go on a lookout for some Cobalt Ores. So, they could be anywhere. Uh, they're not, I don't think they'll be this far up, though. But, you know, we're going to keep one uh, Crimson Altar. The one next to our house. Just in case we have uh, anything. Is this uh, now Palladium, then? Wait. Oh. Yes, it is Palladium Ore. So we can actually mine the Palladium. That's good. And is there any of the... Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> nice, massive batch of Palladium Ore. It's always nice to find um, nice patches like that. Of course, we got the uh, Palladium, Cobalt. Oh, God. No. Oh, please, no. <laughs> we got the... Uh, what do you call it? Biome next to us as well. The uh, Light Biome. The... No. Which one is it? I don't know. The light biome. You know which one I mean, anyway. <laughs> oh, God. It's in my head, but I can't remember the name of it. Well, we've got a nice patch down there as well. Do we mine down to there? Oh, there's, there's actually an open patch down there. Here we go. Let's get down there. Boom. Let's do this. They're, they're so dumb. They can't get through. Oh, no. Illuminati bats are quite strong, though, aren't they? Oh, God. And I know they're Illuminati bats before you say. I do know that. Call them Illuminati bats, though, guys. We're dead. We are dead from a few Illuminati bats. Wow. Wow. We, we, we're, we're weak. We're really weak. Thought we was a lot stronger than this, but no. How's the Breaker Blade hold up against them? Let's use a health potion and uh, use the Breaker Blade. It is auto swing. And it looks like it's doing a bit more damage, maybe. I don't know. We're getting a lot more critical hits on there. And I think it's doing a little bit more damage to things. Come on. Lock on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boom. I think it's gotten more knockback as well. Of course, we can knock them away from quite far away. So, it's quite good. There we go. You're dead. You're dead, bro. Come back here. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So, the Breaker Blade is actually helpful. I didn't think it was that strong, uh, to be fair. 
But we're just getting so many Illuminate Bats, but we're not really going to be able to uh, move on much. We're not really going to be able to move on too much. Oh, ooh, Pixie. Oh, God. Hollowed by him. That's it. There we go. I got it. Hollowed by him. I knew I'd get it eventually. I had it on the tip of my... You know when you just have something on the tip of your tongue, but you don't know what it is? We well, you know what it is, but you, you don't know, like, what it's called. I go through a lot of those moments. <laughs> right, okay, cool. We should be all good to mine this quickly. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I love mining Palladium Ore. Palladium Ore is the best in the world. Palladium Ore? <laughs> More like best ore in the game. <laughs> not really. It's not. It's not. Don't take my word for it. It's not the best ore in the game. It's one of the easiest hard mode ores to get, okay? <laughs> I can imagine someone taking it away, but like... Oh, I've got Palladium Ore. I've got the best store in the game. I'm going to be OP now. And then actually realizing that it's not the best store in the game. Then they come back to Loot Games and say, Loot, you told me this was the best store in the game. And then, uh, yeah, they realize it's a joke and, and murder me for it. Yeah, it happens a lot. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We did get a lot. I think we're getting more health now as well. Of course, we're, de we're, we're taking more health. So hopefully we can start dealing more health. And we've got Pearlstone Blocks here. Not a good uh, biome. I do not like this biome at all. <laughs> not at all. Only because it's so dangerous and you don't know when uh, enemies are going to come out of anywhere, anywhere. Of course, you've got the teleport and enemies as well. You've got the um, oh, chaos, chaos elementals and the spectral elementals, which are very, very strong. I mean, I, I can't see myself facing those at the minute. I'm just too weak. No, uh, no with crimson armor. No way. No way. I mean, platinum armor will get me a lot better, um, a lot better gear, I think. So that's sort of one good thing. But I don't know if you can, um, I'm going to check. I don't know if you can get Cobalt or anything with this pickaxe, but I think you can, as far as I remember. But don't take my word for it. Right, I think that's Silver Orb, but you can never be too certain, guys. You can never be too certain. There is Palladium Orton there as well, so we can go grab that, which is going to be good. Pearlstone is so, so long to, why is it taking so long to get through? Come on. Don't want to leave too much of um, a small gap, because if I leave too much of a small gap, it means I'll just get mauled by enemies everywhere. <laughs> like, literally everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's just double check if this is silver. Oh, we've got a full inventory. Uh, I do pick up a load of inventory of rubbish, so if you do see that, and it does get on your nerves, then, uh, yeah, yeah, just, just try to ignore it, and if you can't ignore it anymore, then, yeah... You can tell me in the comments and roast me about that too. <laughs> I've got no problem about you roasting me. But no, nah, I carry too many things around. I always moan that I've got no space. And then you look at my inventory and I've just got a load of junk that I should trash. And uh, it always happens. It just does. So hopefully you're having a great day, guys. And hope you, hopefully you're enjoying the 3DS edition. Because I've been posting 3DS edition constantly now for a week. Uh, uh for a week. <laughs> yeah, for a week. No, for a month. So, yeah. I mean, hopefully you've enjoyed the return and... I, well, I think I've sorted out the, uh, the lag spikes and stuff on it. So that's all good. Um, and it's running smoothly at the minute. I've actually noticed a lot of improvement. So, yeah, hopefully it sticks this way and don't go all laggy and crashy again. It wasn't actually the console that was crashing as well. Um, last time you guys thought that, you know, in the video that I made, I think it was, uh, part 12. I mentioned that it was lagging. And I didn't mean the game. The game was completely fine. Uh, but what was lagging was my 3DS gameplay. If you go back to like episode 9, 10, 11, you'll notice that sometimes it'll crash. And throughout the video, it will like jitter. And it was because my, profi uh, my profile on my OBS was set to very high for some reason. And it was overloading my, my CPU, which meant that, well, which basically meant that my CPU was being overloaded. So what I needed to do was turn that down. And when I cranked it down... It wasn't overloading my CPU. Now, there are moments in the game where it will still overload my CPU a little bit. But, I mean, it generally runs around 30 to 40%. Uh, that's on my CPU. So, there's a good 50% left. Whereas before, it was hitting peaks of like 95. And, of course, that's just for the software itself. So, you know, when you're peaking out that much on just your uh, software and nothing with your recording, well, that, that's a big problem. <laughs> but, yeah, we've got a load of silt down here. But we do have a massive... Batch of Palladium Ore. Um, I, I think that we're going to have to invest in more Splunker Potions as well. Because they, they seem to run out way fast. Even though they last like 5 minutes. It feels like they only last about 2 minutes. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. But yeah. And if you ever do get Breaker Blade, do use it. I, I underestimate the Breaker Blade. It's actually a lot stronger than I thought. I mean, 
I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. But no. Um, I will be making, like I say, the golden shower at some point. Because the golden shower is just OP. I mean, it weakens bosses while you're fighting them. And with the auto lock on as well. Oh, God. We're going to get, we're going to get, mur we're going to get owned. No, actually, enchanted swords get a lot of knockback, don't they? As long as you uh, hit them. And, of course, this sword can actually go quite far. So, it's... Quite a good sword to have, <laughs> especially at the, this point in the game. Right, is that Cobalt? <gasps> what? No, not the Bound Wizard. No, we just lost that on the Bound Wizard, guys. No way. No, no, my dreams of ever becoming the best wizard in the world are now broken by those stupid bats over there. <laughs> All right, pure uh, suffocation. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. <laughs> that song is so old, man. Ah, oh, so old, but gold. If you remember that song, you're a legend. Honestly, even if you, even if you're not that old, you might remember the song. Can we even mind this? No. I guess that. I guess that's the um, mithril then. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the mithril. So we'll come back for that. You got to remember it's here. Uh, yeah. Well, we know what this is, surely. Surely we're not going to forget already, are we? Right, that's just emerald ores. We're not going to need those. Let's get our breaker blade out. We do have some diamonds as well from somewhere. I don't, don't know where. Not sure where those diamonds did come from. But this hits from so far away. Like, really, really far away. You don't even need to be near your enemy to, sh to fight things with this. It's like having a, a ranged weapon, but a bit, it being melee. It's madness. It always locks onto random things too. Hate it. So here, I probably wouldn't be able to live before, but I'm so lucky that I did get the Breaker Blade in my first kill of the Wall of Flesh, which I think was a really good drop, by the way. Oh, God, oh, God, I'm saying that and I'm dying. Ah. Might be a problem. <laughs> Might be a problem when you run into boulders. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't run into boulders as much as I do. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ah. Well. We all know that I'm a noob, guys. Right, okay. So now we do have our new ores. We can use them in our furnace, which we are going to have to update, upgrade to an adamant-type uh, furnace at one point. But for now, we're all good. Uh, we can make the bars, which we're going to do now. We're going to trash a load of rubbish, which is basically this. We do have 166. We should make, I'd say, 30 bars. But, you know, my mass is totally wrong. It's probably not four per bar. It's probably five per bar. Let's take a look. Okay, so here... Here we go. Paladinium column. No, thank you. I want to make the bars. Here we go. So it's free. Ah, so we're going to make, be able to make like 40 bars then. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh, 50, 55 bars. Wow. That's almost a full set of armor right there, guys. But we're not going for the armor today. We're going to actually go for something totally different. Here we go. And now we're going to make... Hmm... Should we make the pickaxe or the paladin drill? You know, I always make pickaxes, so I've got a feeling I want to make the drill. But at the same time, I don't want to make the drill. I want to make the pickaxe. And you know what? I'm going to make the pickaxe just because I can. Just because I can. That's the only reason I'm making the pickaxe, guys. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah. We'll make all the lead. Oh, no, we won't. We won't. We won't. I need lead ore. I need lead ore for when I'm making potions, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Um, lovely. All I need to do now is make my pickaxe, which is 15 bars. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And the armor, which is, in total, 10 bars. Yep. 20 bars, which is 30. And 45 bars. So, do I have 45 bars? Oh! <gasps> No, I'm five bars off. Are you kidding me? Nah. Paladinium armor at this stage. Do we invest in it? I think we have to, don't we? We have to invest in it, surely. We do have a new pickaxe, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can now, I think, go and mine that ore that was down here. Hopefully we can. That'd be really nice if we can. But again, who knows? <laughs> who knows? I don't know. We'll go and check now, though. Let's just go and have a look. I think it was down here, right? Yep. Yep, we were. We went down here. Oh, now we're poisoned. Beautiful. That's, that's always what I want to see. Bit of poison on me. Yeah, why not? Why not? Even Illuminate Slimes do tons of damage to me. I mean, if, if that's doing a lot of damage, 
I, I don't want to know what the bosses would do to me. They would mutilate me. They, they would tear me a new butthole. It's not, not a good sight, guys. It's not a good sight at all. Okay, we don't really... Mm, silt. No, that's ash. We don't need ash blocks now. We're done in the underworld. Some people like to call it the underworld. Some people like to call it hell. Yeah, both both are correct. It doesn't really matter which one you call it. Uh, we don't need the night out potion, but we will use it. There we go. Look at that. Oh, really? We're collecting tin ore now as well. Right, trash time for you then. Pill. Pillstone block. <laughs> time, time to trash you then. Right, uh, now we need our new pickaxe, which is right down here. There we go. 1,230 mickaxe. Mickaxe? Pickaxe power. Can mine mithril. So here we go. We do have mithril ore now. And we are getting owned by, uh, I think that's sandstone bricks. But then again, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But we do need to uh, collect that mithril anyway. We've got 12 mithril now, which is one step closer. I'm pretty sure it's four mithril for a bar. So we, so far, if we're looking at bars, we have three bars. And uh, those bars are electrical, just like my lyrics. <laughs> okay, bad joke. <laughs> I need to stop. Here we go. Right, let's uh, kill these Illuminate Bats. We do need more Splunker Potions, though, like I say. I do like finding Splunker Potions rather than making them, but it's an exception. I'll make them. Okay, let's uh, get our... We, we need to get our torches out here, right? Right. Okay, there's nothing that way. Okay, I probably just passed around 50,000 Mithril, but it's all good. All good. Okay, no Mithril that way. All good. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving, moving. I think that's Mithril there, right? And to the right of us. Uh, if you if, if you think I missed out, I probably did. But yeah, no, I did. I missed out to start off with. But I think that's it to the right as well. Just uh, under the torch that I placed, if you look in the top right-hand corner. I think it is anyway. But then again, it could be tin. It does look a lot like lead, though, to be honest. Now I'm looking at it properly. But that to the left is definitely what I'm looking for. Come on. That's it. If you, see, if you aim at an enemy, it makes it so much better. And you don't even have to be near them, like I say. So, there we go. Right. Now we are free of enemies. Let's go run here. Take it down, Mithril. Yes, it is Mithril. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Right, let's keep it up here. Oh, God, God. Come on. Okay, let's go. Breaker blade time. You're not going to get anywhere near me. As long as we don't get overrun, we should be all good. And that's another Illuminate Bat taken out. Here we go. Lovely. Mithril, Mithril, I love that Mithril. Right, okay, let's take these down. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Please, no. There we go. Right, cool. That's another one taken. I'm pretty sure this was Mithril as well. If not, then it's lead. I think it, I think it might be lead, you know. I might just be totally wrong. But, oh, this mine's so much faster. Yeah, it is. It's lead. I'm just going to leave it. Right, we're looking for any ores now that are on the outsides. Paladinium, preferably, because I just need five bars. And there's some right there. Some right there. We got loads. We got loads all over the place. And there's some mithril as well to the right, uh, left of us. Breaker blade time. Oh, God. It gets me so worked up out here. So worked up. Those dead. Come on, Illuminate Bats. Die. So many. There should be... I need a calming potion so I can stop them from coming. There we go. Right, cool. Paladin more. That should surely be enough. I don't know. I might, I might uh, get enough to make a weapon as well or some sort of uh, drill. Oh, nice. We've got Mithril right next to it. And I think that's Adamantite as well. Hmm. Adamantite is quite good to have. But I can't mine it yet because you need uh, the next pickaxe up. But again, if we can get enough Mithril, we should be all good. Can't believe a boulder killed us though. Have anything that could kill us? A boulder. Right, Illumina Bats. Oh, God. There's so many. But as long as we swing Ash the sword, we should be all good. We should be all great. That's what I'm talking about. The Breaker Blade is OP. I didn't think it was going to be this strong, but it is. It really is. And attacking them is through, like, walls as well. Jeez. There we go. And it's still... Oh, God, no. You don't want to be in a, a trapped enclosed corner, though, with those things. Not good at all. Not good. You, want to be... you don't want to be in a trapped corner, but being in an open area is quite good with a Breaker Blade. Because, of course, it swings around. It does quite a bit of knockback, which is quite nice. We get the Soul of Light there, which is going to be helpful to make some boss spawners and stuff, like I say. It's always helpful to get the Souls of Light and the Soul of Night. All good to make boss spawners. We do need to get ourselves a pair of wings as well. I think we'll do that next time. I think we'll go grab um, grab some Harpy wings. 
because we do need to upgrade our armor first, because those, uh, if we do get a arch wyvern, we're going to die quite easily, and that's what normally happens. Okay, dead, dead. And now they shouldn't come up here as long as I... Don't know. The problem is I can't see how much mithril I've got left. Right, cool. I can now, though. Okay, let's just move, 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 move. There we go. And of course, uh, we are actually getting regeneration as well, which is quite helpful from our uh, cr uh, crimson armor, which is good. All right. Lead ore. We don't need lead. Mm, is that lead as well? That seems to be mining awfully slow for lead. Mm, it is. It's just lead. Oh, well. Maybe it'll lead into greater things to come. Who knows? No, it's just going to lead us to our death if we stay down here. But the breaker blade's got us covered. I'll imagine a legendary breaker blade. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Okay, let's get a torch on. See if we can uh, see any ores. Nah, it's always good to have a strip mine though, guys. There is some ores right next to us, you see. See what I mean? It's good to have like a little strip mine thing anywhere. Because you can actually like go down and uh, scour out left and right. And you only have to do a strip mine every so many blocks. So I don't know, every 15 blocks, maybe every 10 blocks. I don't really know. But, yeah, strip mines are always good, so bear that in mind. Of course, so with strip mines as well, you get less enemies because there's less space for them to spawn, and they're more likely to spawn around you. So, by around you, I mean, like, away from you. <laughs> okay, here we go. I've got, I'm just concentrating. Sorry that I have a little bit of a break there when I pause to talk. Just because I want to take out these enemies quickly. There we go, and we get a soul of light. Like I say, always good to have. Uh, let's take it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Should we go grab this last bit of paladin? See, I don't know how much paladin I'm going to need in total, but I know I've got enough for quite a few bars at the minute, so we should be good, hopefully. Scout out. That's a bit of... Not, not worth it. Not worth it. Not for one piece. Definitely not worth it. No. We're going back. We're going home. There we go. We now we can make a mithril anvil as well if we've got enough. I think we've just about got enough for a mithril anvil, so that's a good upgrade as well. When you're in a hard mode, that's a very good upgrade to have this early on. So I'm not happy with that. Ten souls of light as well. That's always good. Sixty-eight. Okay, cool. We'll make those first because that'll give us like I don't know, th twenty bars, twenty odd bars. We should be enough to get a couple of things. So here we go. We're gonna go into here, 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 then make the bars. Yeah, made 22 bars. That's what I'm talking about. 62 bars. So we're going to have uh, 20... 20... No. We're going to have 17 left, aren't we? Yeah, we should have about 17 left anyway. Right, now let's go trash some of that junk that we've got. Because I'm always complaining that uh, I've got no room. <laughs> right, here we go. We've got a, a barely full chest there. So let's go trash some of the stuff in there. We don't need that. Book of school we're not going to use at this stage. We've got one of those already. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't currently need those nope those those um those anything else we can trash here yep just gotta remember it's here that's all there we go and we don't need that we don't need that anymore we don't need that pickaxe as well and there we go look at that beautiful and we do need to sort our inventory but it's a bit messy but I'm not fussed at this stage. There we go. Right now let's make all of our no we've made no we haven't made all of our bars because we've still got mithril left as well haven't we Okay, cool. Then we can make all of our mithril bars. 14. Not quite enough for an anvil. For an anvil, I believe it's 20, but we can try make it. We could try. I don't think that we can make it, but we can always try. It's always a good thing to have. No, we can. It's only 10. I thought it was 20 for some reason. Maybe I, do I always think it's 20 and it's actually 10? Did it used to be 20? <laughs> I don't know. Right, we've got an, an, an anvil now. The mithril anvil is going to take over everything that we're making hard mode. So there we go. And now we can place that wherever we wish. And I'm going to place it right there where our new adamantite anvil will go. Uh, not anvil. What is it? Furnace. Furnace will go when we do get it. But first, we do need to get more mithril. Then we'll go to adamantite. I mean, we could upgrade straight to adamantite, I guess. But we need enough um, mithril first to make a pickaxe. So that's one thing. We do have the bars to make ourselves some palladium armor. So we're going to need the melee one. Which is indeed this one. We do need the breastplate and the leggings. And we have 15, no, 17 bars left. So can we make anything with the 17 bars? Or we can make a repeater, which might be good. 
We could also make the Paladinium Sword, which isn't as good as my Breaker Blade at the minute. So, we're all good for that. You know what? I might, I might grab a repeater. Because then um, I can make some arrows as well. Cool. And then what we can do is we can try a repeater. I might not be as good as what I expect it to be. But, I mean, we've always got that option there now if we want to go range. And uh, people were telling me good things about range. So, it might be good. Okay, equip. Equip. And equip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm. We're going to unequip that, unequip that, unequip that. Just in case I don't like this. Then we're going to move that to there. Move that to... This is a long-winded process, I know, but... Here we go. Right, now I'm going to equip these. This is what you need to do every time you want to get a new <laughs> new uh, vanity on and a new equipment. There we go. So how much defense do we have in total? We have 38 defense to our normal... How much did we have before? Like, I don't know if that's a big increase. Wow. Wow. That is a huge increase. Wow. Wow. I didn't think that was such an increase, but if we do need to swap over to get some more uh, mana uh, regeneration or whatever, we do have that option there, and we are now very, very strong. We do have rapid healing. Where's rapid healing coming from? Is that the effect of palladium? Is that the effect of palladium? Oh, um, set bonus. Why can't I read the set bonus? I want to read it. So, does it, does it, is it, is it going to go up, or... No? It just says, set bonus, greatly. Greatly is a great set bonus. I can't... Oh, here we go. Greatly increases life regeneration after striking an enemy. Right, so you just need to hit an enemy, and then you get life regeneration. So technically, it's like the Crimson Armor, but it works a lot better. You don't have to wait for it to regenerate your life. You just have to hit an enemy. So that's a bit OP, actually. Don't know how, uh, don't know how good that'll be, though. I know it greatly increases it, but is there a cooldown for it? Is there like, oh, I don't know. We'll test it out anyway. We'll see how it's like, uh, what it's like. And hopefully, it'll be good. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it, today's episode. We have upgraded our, our armor. We have um, upgraded our anvil as well, luckily. Um, we're going to try to get more mithril next time. Also, we'll probably, hmm, well, more mithril. Mithril pickaxe. And then straight from mithril, I think we're going to uh, jump to adamantite. So then we have full adamantite armor. And then we may be, we may be ready to fight our first boss. Just maybe. I don't know yet. Okay, so I want to test out the regen on this. I want to go, uh, you know, sit in the, in this biome where we're going to get quite a bit of damage out to us. And then what I want to do is just see how much it, it increases our, you know what I could do? I could just fall from the sky, couldn't I? Right. And then I could strike an enemy. That healing is probably around... Around the same as what the Crimson Armor is, but it's constant, isn't it? Yeah, so it, it lasts for about five seconds as well, so that's good. I mean, you just have to keep striking enemies and you'll keep getting regeneration, which is decent, fairly decent in my opinion. Yeah, it is. It, it heals a heart a second. I mean, like a quarter of a heart a second, sorry. Not bad. I mean, it's going to come in handy, definitely. More defense, of course. Um, that's a massive amount of defense. I think that was like, what? 10 more defense or something like that. So it was really good. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully you join me next time. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty. And peace.